Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is Jesse, aka BGFH, here, and I am back for a kickstarted video. We are taking a look at a campaign as I'm recording this that is currently in the process of trying to get funded. We are looking at a title called Pitch Black, A Dusklight Story. I don't know a whole heck of a lot about it other than it's an audio RPG. Um, they're using binaural audio. They're using some kind of cool navigation techniques, I guess, for like getting around the open world. This is some kind of a city demo. I have not played it at all. I've launched it for about five seconds just to make sure that it ran. And <clears throat> word of caution, um, so if you become a backer, you can actually get this demo, which I kind of overlooked when I backed it last night. Um, but yeah, there are PC, Windows 32, and 64-bit, and apparently a Mac version as well. So yeah, this thing is going to be coming out on a lot of platforms, including Android and iOS, because some of the, the tiers are that you get the game both um, a PC or like a computer version and a mobile version iOS or Android so that's pretty sweet so it's gonna be everywhere you're gonna have some touch controls you're gonna have some keyboard controls um, I'm curious like I said um, they were hyping it up pretty good in their trailer the premise sounded interesting and I'm always open for more accessible games more audio games um, I did back it last night, so let's see what this uh, pre-alpha build is like. Pitch Black, A Dusk Light Story. Okay, we're going to do this. Uh, we launched the executable. When you download it, it basically, uh, there's an exe file that you can run. And it will install the program. Welcome to the Pitch Black A Dusklight Story Kickstarter demo. If you've already heard this, press tab to skip. The basic controls are W to move forward, S to move backwards, D to rotate right, and A to rotate left. You may also use the arrow keys. The primary mechanic featured in this demo is the auditory focus effect. Simply press and hold space to activate it. Try it now. Now keep in mind also, one thing I want to mention is when you try to run the file, you might get a warning from Windows saying, hey, this is a weird file, we don't recognize it. It'll probably tell you that you shouldn't run this. Uh, you basically, uh, in the dialog box that appears, just go to the more info button, it'll tell you a little bit more. And then there's a run anyway button, which is what I did, and it just worked fine. So. Let's hold space as it tells us. We got some ambient uh, street market noises or whatever. You, fool. you are now focused. You'll notice the ambience is reduced and there are a few voices that stand out in the crowd. These are points of interest and denote areas you might want to walk towards. As you turn to face these points of interest, an event may be triggered and their volume is raised. These can help you to orient yourself and give you guidance as to where you might find the most interesting spots. We recommend you only make occasional use of this mechanic, as otherwise you'll miss out on the wonderful voice acting that features in the market stores you'll pass through. Try heading towards the drunk man and entering the bar by walking directly past him. Okay. So we got to find the drunk guy. Okay, we're walking forward. This bar. Yep, there's our drunkard this right in front of us. Don't think I can run yet, but that's okay. Now, now what do they give me? A bloody job. 
Okay, we're just going to walk on down. You got some pretty good audio separation here. We, I mean, you can tell there's like, I'm kind of, there's stuff right in front of me, but then there's stuff way off to the right. Like, you can tell there's like some pretty good separation here. Still on the way to our guy. Well, that one was drier. Uh. No, I haven't been paid to get you to come inside. Ah, eh, whatever, dude. As you're halfway there, let us introduce you to a second mechanic. Okay. We call them audio signposts. They let you place your own audio markers in the game world to act as a little reminder of where you've been. Try pressing the one key. Okay. They can be very useful, but also mask other cues. To silence and reset this signpost, press and hold the one key for three seconds. Okay. Great. Try tapping one again. One, two, three. Great. Try tapping one again. Okay. You have five of these signposts, which can be placed and removed individually using the same method. Okay. Should you have more than one laid down and wish to mute them all, simply tap the R key. Pressing it again turns it back on. Try it now. Okay. Great. Continue onwards to the bar. Oh. As a quick tip, should you get stuck or lost, pressing the Alt key will bring you back to a known location. And if you need to hear any of the controls again, press and hold tab. Finally, once you've finished in the bar, we recommend that you try out the simulations from the old world. Hmm. Okay, well, we're walking more toward this drunk guy. Gonna go get our liquor on. I'm just trying to listen to the thing off, off to the left. You got the drunk guy ahead of us, but then you hear bunch of people over to the left. You can tell we're close. Oh wow, yeah, you can tell too now. It does, it sounds like those crowd noises are actually kind of behind us, actually. Wow, that is cool. That's some really nice audio separation. That's some really cool soundscapes, because you can tell the drunk guy is in front of us still. <clears throat> but, I, yeah, it sounds kind of like those the, the, the crowd is kind of echoey behind us. That's kind of cool. I'm going to turn it up a little bit, just because I want to hear... I just want to hear everything in good, loud detail here. I spent my inheritance in there. Now what do they give me? A bloody job. Yeah. They're not my oh, Okay, idea we're behind him. Or he's behind. Customer reward. Oh. Boy! Now what are you looking at, you ugly piece of... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> So you think you can take me? Heck yeah. Alright. Well, let's take it inside then. To the the best bar or none. Okay. Uh Hmm. Now I turned to the left to face him. I probably shouldn't have turned. Uh, so, fancy a drink or two? No? You okay? No worries. Just uh, give me a shout if you need me. You sound kind of bored. He's a little bit hard to hear, actually. So I'm wondering when this takes place, because we obviously... Huh. Okay. 
trying to figure out if those are people talking or if it's like I said. I mean, I hear machinery. Like there was something like he was mixing a drink or something. Um, I wonder when this actually takes place. Let's just walk toward. Let's just hit spacebar and see what happens in here. Oh, nothing. Okay. I wonder when this does take place. I'll face the. Yeah, you can tell that is so behind us now. That's cool audio. Wonder where a drunk guy is. He said to go inside. And I don't think I can go anywhere because. Yeah, I'm holding it down and he's not moving, so. Scheduled. British. Okay. Hey, Okay, I hear the bartender. So let's go toward him. Okay, yeah, he's pouring some. Whoa. Let's go. Yeah, really good audio. Good ambient sounds. Now I wonder if I turn R back on. So if I want to go... So that would take me back to where I was, my beacon. So that should take me directly out the door, I would think. Hello, sir. Fancy a drink or two? No? You sound so bored, dude. Okay, no worries. Just uh, give me a shout if you need me. I mean, all day, all night. So I do. Boy! Oh, what are you looking at, you ugly piece of. <gasps> Excuse it. No. So you think you can take me? Okay, you didn't want to do all anything. Right. Uh, let's take it inside. Yeah, he's definitely behind me now. To the, the best bar. So I don't know if there's really much interaction I could do. It didn't tell me anything about like interacting with people. This is more of just kind of like a, I think probably more of a, like an, like an audio demo of like the 3D audio or the binaural audio that they're using. Again, it's pretty darn effective. Okay, let's uh welcome all to the age of fun. Okay, I can run. Sweet. Okay, let's go up close and listen to this uh advertisement here. Yeah, I want to I want to go over there cuz I want to see what this ad stuff is. Get your movies of the old world for your very own VHS player. Or if you don't have one, get your own VHS player from us too. Yeah. Gaze upon the marvels of old world entertainment. Watch as Christian Bale fights hordes of dragons or Denzel Washington delivers some sort of book. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. You know, I'm actually glad that we're not in medieval again. Because I like medieval, but I like the fact that it, this seems like it's going to be more of like a science fiction or going to be more of a different setting. I'm really glad, actually. Wow. Denny's, okay. That's an interesting currency term. 
I still want to find that weird, ro kind of more like robotic-y guy. Okay, I remember hearing him oh, earlier back. I want to hear. Let's go over here. I want to hear this other guy. Is that what he wanted us to do? The simulator? Let's see if we can't. Adventures from the old world. Let's see if we can new move this mouse. Oh, oh, no, I can't. Okay. Oh, crap. Did I... Experience adventures from the old world. With our new oh. simulator. I can move the mouse. Okay. Huh. <laughs> I was moving the mouse out of the way, but I inadvertently turned myself, so now I'm probably really messed up here. <laughs> Experience adventures from the old world. Okay, yeah. With our new simulator. So maybe one thing that I would like in an option menu is if I can move the mouse, especially for those of us who are familiar with playing, like, PC games. Experience and you can, the sensitivity on that is pretty high. World. So maybe I could do like sides, have the option to switch the uh, A and D controls to sidestep instead of turn if I want to use mouse to look left and right. Maybe that could be a thing. Because I'm so used to playing a lot of first person shooters and RPGs. Alright, I want to go see what this simulator thing is, see if I can do anything with it. Yeah, the audio in this is pretty dang good. I got it. Ooh. Okay. What are we doing? I think we found our simulator. Okay. Some kind of crowd thing going on. Can I move or do anything? I'm not sure if this is a passive thing, or... Well, I'm just hitting the W, or the A and D keys just to see if it does anything. Some, yeah, we got race cars, we got people stomping. I think this is just a passive thing. I think we're just supposed to sit here for this. Yeah, I can't even hold space. It doesn't do anything, so... Okay. With our new simulator. Uh... Whoa, hi. Oh no, I don't want to go back in there. Yeah, let's go to that other arcade guy. Experience adventures from the old world. With our new simulator! So we got some people over here. Let's see what we... You're loud, dude. With our new simulator! So we're... Adventures from the old world with our new simulator. Eyes are Memories made to last with smiles that last even longer. Okay, can we do anything with you? 
On his arcades. Memories made to last with smiles that last even longer. Uh, I know I'm not talking much, but I'm kind of just soaking in the atmosphere. Okay, so I don't think, I think the only thing I can maybe do is the simulation, maybe? Um, I don't know if there's really much interaction in this particular demo. Um, they basically said to go check out the simulator. Um, I guess, let me use the mouse because it's actually quicker. There we go. Come on. Memories made to last with smiles that last even longer. Yep, okay, we found him, so apparently we can't do anything with that. So we're gonna go away from the Memories made to last with smiles that last even longer. And let's explore, let's see what else we can look at around this uh, city area. I'm trying to pick out another sound in the in the uh, world here. Okay, we got a rug sales. Always remember our motto. Sometimes everyone needs to brush things under the carpet. Just make sure that carpet comes from us. Uh. Homemade chastity belts. <laughs> All right, I gotta see what this is. I get a kick out of some of these ads. These are pretty good. No, I want to find... Let's see. Let's go this way. Ooh. kid is if you buy our kitty sticks only half a denny each yeah i can zero in pretty much on, i mean this is cool because like i can there's so listen i mean just listen for a second i hear the the echoey ads on the left but i hear people talking on the right if there's something that i kind of want to zero in on if there's something that kind of sticks out i don't even really have to go into that focus mode i can just turn with uh, my arrow keys or my WASD or I can use my mouse which is actually kind of what the way I prefer so far uh, let's hit spacebar uh, and let's go this way what so you don't smell all the poo. It's a great product. Okay. These ads are definitely amusing. Jewelry. Get your homemade jewelry from Potters & Co. We have necklaces, earrings, so what I'm wondering, and more necklaces. And what I'm wondering is, if I can interact with these people, am I going to get, like, in the, in the further build of the before. game, Am I going to be able to, like, do I get, like, a chime when I'm close enough to interact with somebody? Or some kind or some kind of a little subtle blip or something that'll say, like, oh, hey, you're within interaction distance. Or maybe you just think, oh, they're loud enough, they're centered enough, you can probably interact with them. Okay, I already did the simulators. Let's go over to this. I want to go to this crowd over here. I want to see what's going on with all these people. Okay, we heard him. What do we got over here? Who are you? 
Kind of seems like you're always just sort of hearing different people like that kind of echoey sound off to either side but once you get closer to something like certain things kind of pop out so let's go over here and who knows how many things we can find i don't know like I said, I don't know if there's really much interaction, but just exploring this audioscape is kind of cool, because I can just kind of walk around and eavesdrop. Be interesting if I could eavesdrop and find some interesting just wordle conversations instead of ads or something. See if I can hear some people. Now I could turn R on. Hmm, I don't even hear it. Okay. So I must be far away. That's okay. Let's see what else we can find here. And I don't know what the level boundaries are either. Like when I was in the building, I could tell, like, because I wasn't really moving. Um, the footsteps really stopped, so if I was walking or even holding shift to run. They didn't tell me that, but just instinctively having played other games before, it seems like I am walking faster when I do uh, hold shift down. Uh, okay, I think I found a boundary here. Because I'm running and it's not doing anything. So let's go this way. Let me hit R again. I don't hear the beacon, so I'll turn it off, because I have no idea where the bar is. But let's... So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to experiment with beacons really fast. So I... Okay, I found a border again I can't run up to. So I'm turning to the right. I don't want to trigger that weird, that uh, Adventures from the Old World simulation. I'm just going to find a random guy over here, one of these salespeople. And then we're going to create a two beacon. Let's see, let's see what we can focus on. Nah. I could go to the arcade, but. Well, let's see. Say it again. Yeah, see, those are so close to each other. I want to find some other people. Where are all my crazy sales people over here? Do I hear anybody? I found a whole bunch of them a bit ago. Having maybe a thing, you know, where you can say, like, oh, sort of what direction am I going, north, south, east, west, or, you know, like, northwest, southeast, um, or, you know, just something to kind of orient me to say, like, oh, okay, well, I remember that the north end of town was where the bar was, and then maybe the south end was the shops or the uh, whatever. So, like, if I knew that, oh, okay, well, even if I had a beacon that was far away, I couldn't quite hear it. You know, even kind of knowing my cardinal directions to be like, okay, well, like I said, this was north, and I remember the bar was at the north end of town or the west side of town or whatever it was. Then, you, you know, in addition to the excellent audio that we have so far and the, what did they say, five different beacons that you can set per area, that's pretty nice, actually. Um, 
So I could see being able to get around these places pretty well because, like I said, if I hear somebody that stands out, I can pretty much find them. Um, let's rock a little bit more because I want to try to do another beacon before I wrap this up. <clears throat> but I mean, the audio design alone got a pretty dang good premise here so far. I mean, as far as like, I like the, I'm kind of intrigued about, you know, just listening to these ads, listening to the people, listening to, um, you know, all this stuff. I'm kind of getting the, the idea of, oh, okay, well, this is like a future-y place and, you know, VHSs are kind of retro or maybe this is current and like I said, VHS is pretty retro now. But, um, so the old world, you know, I hear them off to the right. I have no idea where my bar is. So I'm going to turn this back on and just run around and see if I can locate my one beacon. I'm going to run here. So apparently I've kind of stumbled into somewhere where there's stuff on all sides of me, but there's nothing really that is standing out. Um, where is my beacon? Oh, I wonder if I lost the beacon when I went into that simulation and I returned. I wonder if it went away, because I have no idea where the bar is now. I'm running. Let's uh, focus here. No, I don't want to go to the adventure. Uh... Oh, what did he say? How do I reset the... I can hold tab to hear the instructions. Let me do that again. Move forward with W and S. Oops. Okay, I hold it to Move here. Move forward with W and S. Rotate right and left with D and A. Alternatively, you can use the arrow keys. Right. Hold space for the auditory focus effect. Mm -hmm. For audio signposts, use keys one to five. Yep. R mutes them all. Holding down for three seconds removes the one you're holding down. Right. Holding shift lets the player sprint. Okay. Alt resets to a checkpoint uh, alt. if you get lost. Escape closes the game. Hold tab to hear these again. Okay, so let's do alt. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to... We are right by the simulator, so I'm going to hold R. Okay, and then I'm going to hit 1. We're going to turn it off. Now we're going to walk around. Nope. I don't want to go in. Let's see. I'm trying to find all my buddies again, all my weird ad people. And I'm not hearing any footsteps. Can I not walk anywhere? Uh, if I'm moving, it doesn't seem like... Yeah, no matter what way I turn, I'm not able to walk. Because I can go into focus with the space bar. I can hold that down. And, I mean, when I turn the mouse or use the arrows, my sound pans. Uh, but I'm not seeming to be able to move anymore. Let me hit Alt again. Okay. Uh, and if I hit Escape, it's just going to exit the game. Like, is there, like, a way to kind of back out? Um, yeah, I'm not seemingly able to move anymore. I jump back to my uh, beacon, but now that I am there... Huh. Okay, I mean, I can hear things, but I don't hear my... F either I'm moving and the footsteps aren't there, or I'm not moving. So I'm not entirely sure. 
But even just walking around this market or this kind of, uh, you know, bunch of vendors and, you know, I kind of getting an, a feel for the area that I'm in, you know, a bunch of street shops and stuff like that. So I'm going to hit escape and boom, we're back to our Windows Explorer here. Um, but yeah, that is a quick look at the city version of, well, actually, let me go into it one more time just really quick because I'm sure then it'll work and I can hit tab to, to skip all their little tutorials and then we'll maybe try the beacon thing one more time just because I want to see I want to set more than one just so you can hear uh come on welcome to the pitch black a dusk light story kickstarter pitch demo black. if you've already heard this press tab to skip I will alright so we're gonna hit one we're going to hit R, and now we're going to run. And let's go over to the left here a little bit. There's our... Oh, all right, so... They send you back here without a hand to feed you. Well, look no farther because we we're have two. their hands. Second hand store, come get your second hand. So now, okay. I'm going to turn those off. So, a couple things with the beacons. Um, I notice when you start them, they don't appear like seemingly right where you are. They don't appear centered in your in the audio channel. They appear on the right hand side. Uh, when I made the first one, uh, even in the game when I started it before, it was in my right ear. And then when I turn them on, or you know, I mean, I can go toward them if I'm away from them. But I think when you create them, it kind of threw me off because it's like, why does it just appear in my right ear? Um, I think it maybe should appear like in the center of where you are because like it's the center of that's your beacon that's where you are um, and then when you're away from it of course it can appear wherever in the soundscape my other suggestion would be maybe either through pitch or maybe a, a few different sound effects um, I think each of the five beacons should sound different right now if I turn them on again I'm trying to see if the one on the left is a little lower pitch. They they sound a little similar. So let me go, let's go run somewhere else really fast. Let's see if we can find our, or let's go find our drunk buddy here. And then we'll do a three when we get close to him. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I'm not drunk. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to hit 3. Now I'm going to hit R to turn my beacons on. Uh, well, that one was drier. Okay, I don't... No, hmm. I haven't been paid to get you to come inside... Well, yeah, hit three again. Drink of sunshine, though. Well, look. Now I got room for more. <laughs> Let's go back the way we came. And see if we can like, see if we can hear some of these other beacons again. Okay, so we went away from him. Let's hit R. What happened to our beacons? I didn't hold R. I just hit R to turn them on and off. So. I could be doing something wrong. Oh, no, there's one. Okay, I hear one now. Yeah, okay, now I hear them both, so... I'm gonna turn them off. Now, I don't know what... Um, I'm just thinking about, you know, navigating a big world. 
and I don't know what the distance is, like in, in, you know, how big of an environment are you going to be navigating? Like right now we're in a kind of a town square, but if, you know, am I going to be going through like an open world field kind of a thing? Think of like Hyrule Field in Zelda. Um, am I going to be in separate little smaller areas that I can kind of manage and get to beacons fairly easily? with my five beacons um, because like I said I'm thinking of a few different things because if I'm super far you know think about like Fable on the Xbox or um, even open world games like Saints Row 3 and 4 like where you have like uh, or even a Hero's Call another audio game where you had an actual kind of a guide like I could turn that on and off maybe you know it would be, you know, lower, lower pitch or quieter or something when you were farther away, and then that sound would get louder, of course, and maybe either raise in pitch or have some other effect as you got close. But then again, you know, maybe then each one of the five beacons would maybe have to have. Um, actual different sounds. One could have the bing bing like it has now, but then maybe you either do a different pattern or you use like a different type of sound effect for each of them so that it's, you know, because if I, again, even in when I'm playing a, a visual game, you know, like a Elder Scrolls game or something like that, and like, okay, I've got all these little markers on the map and like, oh, one of them will be like a, you know, the I forget what color the main diamonds are, but then you have like a red diamond or you have a yellow diamond to say that's a side quest and not a critical quest or, you know, just to say like, oh, these are some of the things in this area that you have active right now. So audibly doing the same sort of a thing. But like I said, what is here? Um, I kind of find it fun just walking around the world and hearing all the ambience and things like that. Like I said, I hear the drunk guy behind me still. Uh, finding all those vendors and ads and different things. Uh, we found the little uh, experience thing that it told us to. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I when I back this, I'm going to exit out so it's easier for you to hear. Um, I backed this last night, and I did back it at the 50-pound uh, tier because I thought, you know what, I'm going to support these guys. Um, from what I heard of their pitch video, I liked what I heard. Sounds like they're pretty far in already. You know, they've got a good audio thing going. And like I said, I didn't even I didn't even play this before back in the game. I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's support them. But now that I have, you know, I feel even better about their technology. So um, with the 50-pound tier, or about 62 U.S. dollars, I think they said 62, 63. Basically, um, I think they... Um, at that tier, you can get um, builds of the game as they happen. Um, and you get, like, the soundtrack and the game, and so the, it's a pretty nice reward. So, you know, I thought about just getting the tier that had the game, but I'm like, no, I want this to succeed. Let's throw them a little bit more support, and I'm, I'm impatient. I want to play these games. And not only that, um, I do a lot of app testing, a lot of beta testing, a lot of... Um, you know, just kind of, I'd love to get into more consulting, more game accessibility stuff. So, you know, paying the 50 pound tier, be like, Hey, get some builds in, um, you know, be able to communicate with the developers a little bit, maybe give some ideas or something, or, you know, be able to say, Hey, this works really well, or could this work a little bit better? You know, just that kind of, uh, you know, feedback, um, be kind of fun. Uh, cause this, like I said, uh, Helping out with this kind of thing is always fascinating, and I really enjoy doing it. And uh, I'm glad to see more either mainstream or audio games coming out like this. Uh, we've got a Hero's Call out already. We've got um, The Veil. And now we've got another big RPG coming, hopefully, around this time next year. The, as I'm recording this, uh, there are 29 days left in the Kickstarter tempted to release this before my regular Saturday video just so that people can hear the audio demo and so that people have more time maybe 
you know, if they don't have the cash when they hear the video, but they want to contribute, they can go, oh, well, now I still have, you know, 23 or 25 days or something um, to chip in if I want to so that they meet their goal. Because I think they're, what they say, they're looking for $5,000, I think, for funding on Kickstarter. And, um, you know, if they can get more than that, hey, good, then they can get it maybe done a little bit faster or add more things or polish things up a little bit better. You know, you never know. I mean, this stuff is not cheap. You know, you got to have people to work on it. Got to have your voice talent, your sound engineers, your programmers, all this stuff. So, you know, I've seen, unfortunately, some really promising projects in the past fail their Kickstarters. Like, even I remember the one that I'm thinking of right now, Three Monkeys. That was a, I did a gameplay demo of that a couple years ago. And I haven't heard really anything about it since. So I don't know if it's just disappeared or whatever. You can still find the early prototype video on my channel for Three Monkeys, but that one didn't go through, and there's a couple other ones. So again, you know, you guys want more audio games. You know, I, I, I get messages on Twitter. I get them through the comments and the channel. Um, you know, people are like, cover more audio games, cover more accessible games. Well, I gladly would. Um, especially of this higher tier, you know, like just really cool, uh, binaural audio and, you know, fully voice acted and things, you know, that takes resources. So if you want to see this, if you want to see, I mean, if you want to be able to play more, if you want to be able to see more on the channel, if you want more developers to make this stuff, you got to put your money where your mouth is. You got to support them, back them on Kickstarter. I will leave a link to the Kickstarter page in uh, the description below, but also, like I said, you can just actually go to kickstarter.com and search for the game, Pitch Black, and you just start typing that in, and it'll come right up, and they also have a mobile app, like I backed it, actually, I actually find the Kickstarter app to work really well, especially, at least for iOS it does, that's what I use to read about it, and that's what I use to back it, so... Um, either way, whether you use the website or the mobile app, check it out. Not sure when I'm going to release this, but it's going to be soon because I want to support the game and I want to get the word out there so that this thing can get funded and get finished being made. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79. Like and you know, like the video if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have subscribed to the channel, thank you for that. There are lots of things coming out all the time. You can also follow me on Mixer, uh, mixer.com slash BGFH. I do streams there usually every weekend and uh, recently a little bit more now and then. And of course, you know, um, I've got another co-streamer now uh got riley here got my girlfriend here and we're uh she's doing a little bit of streaming as well some accessible content so like i said um doing a little bit of tag team there with uh streams and maybe even a couple videos you might see eventually on the channel so lots of stuff on youtube lots of stuff on mixer twitter you can also go to illegally um that's kind of all my projects and you know, appearances, podcasts, all that kind of a thing. Uh, you can also follow the A4G podcast on Anchor or other services. And if you uh, don't get it on your service of choice, just request just request it, the A4G podcast. And you, since this is going to go out early, I will also plug it here. If you guys want to win a copy... Uh, for Android or iOS of Audio Wizards. Uh, pretty fun audio action arcade kind of game for mobile, iOS or Android. Um, listen to one of our, our uh, last couple of podcasts and you'll hear some instructions on how you can register until November 6th. Um, register to win like i said even if you already own a copy get one at the holiday seasons right around the corner get it for another blind or visually impaired friend get it for a family member get it for somebody who maybe you want to introduce somebody 
cited, get them to play an audio game, and then they can, you know, kind of get more into it with you. Whatever you want to do, but uh, we need entries, and I'm sure I know people like free things, so definitely check out the A4G podcast, and you might be able to win. Your odds are looking pretty good at this time, so check out the podcast and definitely support um, Pitch Black on Kickstarter. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, I'll chat with you guys again later.